Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay, guys, thought I'd share this with you because this is one that um, a few people have actually been asking me about in my uh, comments, and it's taken me a little while to address this, but there's been a reason for that. Saucer Swap Labs. I've had a few people asking me about Saucer Swap Labs and what I think about it. Um. For me, first and foremost, you know, when it comes to this kind of thing in terms of Swap Labs, because I'd, I'd been seeing them a lot, like coming up on Hadira's page and stuff like that. But the first thing I'm just trying to see is like, does it have longevity, right? Because when something comes out and it's new, sometimes there's a lot of hype and hysteria around it. And then, you know, once it all calms down, you kind of start to see where it really will be. And so I wanted to just give it some time to just see how things go, just keeping an eye on it. Um, and yeah, I've got to say, from what I am seeing, Source of Swaps looks promising to me. Now, I've not done too much digging on this, so I am still yet to do like a full deep dive on them. But from what I have seen, it's looking very promising, to be honest. And this is the thing. I don't really need to do too much digging because the actual milestones speak for themselves. So when I keep seeing them on my timeline and I'm seeing like, you know, they've made a new milestone that they've reached, I'm like, well clearly they're doing well right like they don't need to do too much research to see the things that they're accomplishing already to see that it looks like they're pretty much being very successful so i've got a few things that i'm going to show you in regards to source of swap labs and then i'll tell you exactly why i feel like there's you know there's a lot of promise here so we've got first and foremost here a huge milestone uh source of swap labs has just achieved a 100 million in total value lot which is in brackets tvl so this achievement secures Saucer Swap's position as the 22nd top DEX worldwide, bringing Hedera DeFi onto the global stage. So that's already pretty damn good for how long they've been around. And I've been seeing them go from time to time and they've done quite a climb even to get there. But it does get better. So let's get to the next thing that I've got here. Uh, we've got a post here from the House of Chimera. And they say, Hedera hits peak TVL and surge in trading volume. The HR ecosystem has grown significantly over the past few months as the protocol hits an all-time high in HBAR TVL. The growth catalyst is Saucer Swap Labs, currently accounting for approximately 80% of the TVL. That speaks volumes, guys. That speaks volumes because that's showing you the TVL alone is primarily being uplifted by Saucer Swap Labs. That's a lot of volume. That really is a lot of volume. Now, I'm not that surprised in regards to this simply because you'll notice like when it comes to a lot of these networks, they all have a, a basically a swap protocol, like a decentralized exchange, right? And so it's a thing of like Ethereum has Uniswap, um, Phantom has Spooky Swap. Right, so each network generally will have like a DEX on there, right? And so obviously this is going to help because when you've got like applications like dApps going on and people want to get in and out of dApps, you know, the DEX is where they're going to be able to trade, right? So it's where a lot of the trading goes on within the network. So it's always going to be a thing where they're going to get a lot of volume, but that's that's a quite significant number and it shows you that there's a lot of trading going on, right? There's a lot of activity going on. So this tells me two things. One, there's a lot of activity going on within HBAR. And two, Source of Swaps is clearly getting the bigger piece of the action and is bringing a lot of uh, the TVL to Hedera. So it's helping Hedera significantly, right? So two very positive things there to take from that. So um, I see this kind of stuff and I'm like, okay, like, again, looking very good in regards to source of swap labs right that's looking very promising so then we've got this update here not long after the previous post that i showed you so i'll quickly get you the date so you've got here february 17th and then this one is i believe it's february 20th let me just check oh, february 19th okay february 19th so just two days later uh, we've got Source of Swap Labs saying here they've climbed to number 18. So in the past month, Source of Swap's TVL has soared by over 70%, overtaking established protocols such as Bancor and QuickSwap in ranking. We welcome everyone to experience firsthand why Hedera DeFi is on a path of accelerated adoption. Amazing guys. So in two days, they've jumped up in their ranking. Like 
this is what I'm saying to you guys. So if they've done that in like two days, give them another week. Where are they going to be? Give them another month. Where are they going to be? I actually think they have potential to easily get into the top 10 right now. When I'm looking at what they're bringing in terms of TVL. And this is the thing. Hedera is just such a good network to use. That's why Source of Swaps have chosen Hedera. Because the hash graph is just such a great network and it's such great technology. That yes, people are going to want to use this. So it really does make sense. Um, this is really kind of like a match made in heaven. Because Source of Swaps are really good at what they do. And then you've got Hedera which is really good as the technology. So again, they just blend together and mesh perfectly. So I'm looking at this. And I'm thinking, man, like, this is really promising here. Like, and this is why I get so excited when it comes to this kind of stuff with like HBAR and Hedera. It only really takes one thing, like one protocol or one DAP to be successful to really make the volume and the price and the value greater for Hedera and HBAR, right? Like, if Source Swap really does get even bigger and bigger, like that's going to be just garnering more value for HBAR. And that's just one developer. This is just one DEX. So imagine if we're talking about adding in, you know, other developers and other dApps that could come through, you know, sign adding in those as well. Like where could we go with this? Like how high could we even get with this kind of thing? You see what I'm saying? So this is why I look at this kind of stuff and I get excited because I'm like, well, if Source of Swap alone is accounting for 80% of the TVL. What about when we start talking about other developers who can maybe get more TVL added as well? Do you know what I mean? But Source of Swaps alone is, you know, right now it's carrying it, right? So if Source of Swaps continues to grow and really continues to outpace all these other DEXs, then like the future is very bright, right? Like very, very bright. So man, I'm looking at this and I just think this looks really promising. Um, so for anyone who's been asking me about saucer swaps, I haven't done a full deep dive on them, but I'm just looking at all these milestones that they've accomplished and what they're currently bringing to Hedera. And I will say it looks promising. Yeah, like again, nothing is obviously guaranteed because it is crypto. So we will just say that as well. But it's looking very promising. Like saucer swap is looking very promising to me. And the fact that they're accounting for so much of the TVL, that alone tells me a lot that really does tell me a lot so yeah i um, definitely want to keep your eyes on guys because as i say i've been keeping my eye on them and i just continue to see growth and to do that kind of jump that they have um in a matter of days i'm just like well you're already now in the top 20 and you're climbing and climbing and climbing so let's see where that goes to you know who knows where far they could go but it's looking very promising for them i will definitely say that so yes, um, I'm liking Source of Swap right now. Um, I know there's a lot of people who've been mentioning like, you know, getting on Source of Swap token because they think that could be um, something that could really generate a lot of uh, a lot of value for them, a lot of profit. Um, look, as I say, I haven't done the full deep dive, so I'm not going to say that. But if we're looking at the milestones, it's looking positive, right? Like everything that they're doing is going on the upward trajectory. So I don't see why there shouldn't be value um, in that token right now. It's all looking very promising. So unless there was to be some kind of black swan event with them, or there was some kind of, you know, some kind of um, some kind of like exploit or some kind of issue that they had that really brought their uh, reputation down or brought the actual decks into into question, I can't really see, you know, anything other than that what would really change like they they really are taking off and this is bringing a lot of value to Hedera and a lot of people to Hedera so for me yeah I think at the moment it's looking very promising with them so definitely one I'll keep my eyes on and I think you guys should too but what do you guys think Saucer Swap Labs bringing 80% of Hedera's TVL do you like the sound of this are you someone who's interested or invested in Saucer Swap Labs? Do you think Saucer Swap Labs will be positive for HBAR's price? Or do you not like the sound of this? Is there anything that you've heard or experienced that gives you any kind of concerns about Saucer Swap Labs? Or do you just think that Saucer Swap Labs won't be good for HBAR's price overall long term? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, 
and subscribe. But until next time, take care.